Well, I went out and bought this particular mower, the uh, Victor. I can't even get past, it. I'm trying to assemble it. I looked up videos, I found one that actually is relevant to this particular model. And what you've got to do is put these bottom struts on and you've got to basically tighten this nut here. And um, I keep trying to do it, but I'm getting nothing. I'm just, it just will not tighten. Uh, even when I'm holding the screw on the other side because this thing is one of those nylon threads and you have to keep turning it around. It's just not doing a damn thing. It is the most frustrating thing. I've been trying to work on this for half an hour. Unfortunately, my cousin rang me yesterday before I even had a chance to start assembling. If I'd done that beforehand, I could have at least spoken to uh, her other half who's got some expertise in this sort of handyman stuff. Uh, hopefully my next door neighbours are around because I just want to get this bloody thing up and running. I want to mow the lawn and for the simple sake that I can't get this stupid nut to, um, to turn around and secure the bottom rung of the, uh, of the handle is just such a frustrating thing. And once I get that done, hopefully it'll be easier. But I didn't have these issues with the, the Lawn King. It may be a crappy motor mower, but at least it was easy to assemble. The instructions on this are not that great. Uh, that's where Australians don't do as well as, say, the Asians and what have you. They generally have better instructions um, for assembly. This is just... Oh, I mean, I'm just... I keep twirling it around. I've got this tool here which should do it. I secure the other side of it, the nut, the nut on the outside, and then I'm, I'm, I'm twirling the bolt around, and it should actually be tightening, but it's not doing a damn thing, and I'm just... Oh, my wits end. I can't get any further in the construction. Hopefully, uh, I'll, get some, I'll get some help from the neighbours. So, fingers crossed. Having uh, no motor mowers, now I've got two. I've got the uh, uh, John uh, kindly uh, fixed up my um, yard king. What he said happened was that the um, because the the cap that went on the um, the oil there uh, came off. It's somewhere landed in the garden somewhere, and it kept shaking off every time I turned the, the mower on. He reckons that um, I didn't put any extra oil on the last couple of mows, and he reckons it's basically he thinks it's pretty well seized up uh, without oil and he's been able to fix it and it's working fine again but because whenever you um, we got the cap off which I had to do when I was mowing and I put a bit of plastic cap on to keep it sealed when, when it's in storage uh, it keeps still spurting out oil while it's operating so it had been draining and I wasn't aware of it so it's working again now but uh, He's not sure whether major damage might have been done to it. So, um, but it does work. He just showed me and it was, he got it um, started quite easily. So no problem, but uh, it's just underpowered really for what's needed. And the, and the um, apparently the wheels are pretty knackered as well. So I'll, I'll put it on uh, Gumtree, maybe see if I can get a hundred bucks for it. Cause they're going retail 350. So it's only a year old, so. Um, it's, it's, it's someone buying it's rolling the dice, but you know, it's, uh, uh, let's see what, what, what can we, what can happen? See, uh, someone might buy it. They probably will know in Gumtree. It's a pretty keen marketplace. So, um, so look, it's been good value. Two, 260 is bugger all to pay for a, a, a motor mower. I've got, uh, 12 months of use out of it and save myself a lot of dough having to pay someone to mow. So I'm quite happy about that. But now... We'll get the new beast out of the shed. It's uh, it's it's got a much bigger. Uh, that's a hot long. Oh shit! Oh god! I just moved the whole shed. <laughs> oh dear! Okay, I didn't realise was that fragile. Oh, tell me how you meet him, I guess. Yeah, I nearly nagged my whole. The whole shed there. Um, it's a little off alignment. Okay, I think it's all right. The door closes. Oh, I don't know my own strength. Oh, it's, it's only a minimum after all. Anyway, so here it is. This is the new beast. Um, John reckons I probably should put it on a fairly high setting. Uh, yeah, I think I'll put it on the highest setting because this is a real forest here now. 
and we'll see what it can do. Uh, fingers crossed it all goes well. Well, here's the juice. We'll just give it a, um, I've got to find out where the primer is. There it is. And hopefully when I pull the cord, we'll get some action. Oh, I better do it with the other hand. No, no luck so far. Get some mowing done and get rid of this damn uh, forest. Another beautiful day, Tuesday in winter in Cairns, and got to get the bus again. This time, right down to Cairns Central area. It's going to be a long day because I've got to got a medical appointment, and after that, I want to catch up with Lynn, who's in Whitfield, and uh, and drop off. Uh, couple of items I bought uh, her and her mum in Vietnam so uh, it's been a well in excess of two weeks since I've been back here and uh, it's the first opportunity I've had to do it well I felt really crook the first week anyway it took me about 10 days to get over the cold I'm feeling a lot better now and uh, I uh, yeah, I'm getting gardening done. I did a bit of weeding yesterday and uh, and got the mowing done a few days ago. So I'll get uh, get that done even even cut a shorter cut fairly soon. So be, the lawn will start looking reasonable. It's still a bit high, but uh, I think it was sensible just to cut the top off first and then do another cut later. So I'll do that and. Uh, Hopefully the bus will be on time, it's supposed to. That could be the bus coming now. Yeah, it is. It's on time by the looks of things, that's good. So, um, it'll be the first time I've, the bus has been on time. In, uh, on three occasions I've caught the damn thing recently, so that's a good sign. So, hopefully I can transfer to the 110 and get in fairly... Well, I'm supposed to be in Central at 9.30. There's no way I'll make it by going through Trinity Beach area because you've got all the schools and what have you, although most of, them sh most of the school kids should have gone through by now. That's something to be avoided because that really slows down the journey. Uh, so anyway, it's a like, so superb, superb day. Oh, I found it's got some interesting news. I, uh, I've checked out my uh, bank account and looked at the housing loan information and of course they um the bank gives you their estimate of the value of your house and what i found interesting is that they've actually valued it now higher than than what realestate.com does so that's strange and it, i think it's a fairly uh accurate uh valuation because it, it use, usually get low valuations from banks but this time i think it was uh was pretty reasonable and it just proves that there has been quite an increase in the price of houses in this area and demand is still strong even now now that may well taper off quite a bit as we get another couple of percent interest rate added to uh, the loans but uh, which could happen in the next 12 months or 18 months and uh, that'll certainly hammer people in the capitals which, I mean, the prices in Melbourne and Sydney are ridiculous, especially Sydney. So I, I, I think it's a good thing that they're coming back to sanity. Gives the first home by a fighting chance, which is good. Trouble is, are we going to have jobs? Because if we've got a recession, people will be out of work and they won't have any income. It's going to be tough. There's about uh, a whole lot of people getting off the bus at this stop. Uh, so I'm pretty late. I did at least email the... Um, 
medical facility that I was going to be late, thank God. Oh. But what really got me was this, uh, the bus driver uh, wouldn't even see whether there was a 110 bus that I could transfer to to get here faster. Didn't even try, just refused. I've never had that before. He also slammed the brakes down a couple of times really hard, which is not good. So yeah, it wasn't the, wasn't the greatest bus ride I've ever had, I've got to tell you. Uh, very grateful to get out. And of course, the woman right behind me is coughing her lungs out. Oh, that's not a good look these days, you know. For, uh, so yeah, I've had better bus rides. <laughs> view looking down the road uh, towards where um, friend uh, Lynn lives on the side there just check the, t the bus schedule there's only a bus every hour so it's not exactly a great schedule here a few people got off the bus there at uh, the Wara Beach stops quite surprised well they're going across there that part I'll do the roundabout it's a bit safer but uh, it was like a freezer inside the uh, the bus. I've had my fill of buses today after doing the uh, diverting to Lynn's place on the 131. Looking forward to getting back home. It's going to be a 25 minute walk. Took the other bus. So I'd still be uh, getting back probably a little later than I am now. It's a lot more comfortable outside. Gee, that bus was like a freezer. It's horrible. So anyway, that's... Uh, it was a big day out, virtually the whole day. So, uh, looking forward to getting back home. Looking forward to being back at the beaches too. I uh, have no regrets about moving from Central Cairns up to the beaches. It was the best thing I've done for a long time. Smart move. There's a few good school girls that got on who are probably living in Palm Cove. God, they do, they've got a long commute each day if they go to school down in Central Cairns from there. I don't envy them that. Uh, well, I guess that's why we've got electronic devices to entertain us while we're on long journeys. Anyway, I'm glad uh, that day's over. Tomorrow, spending the whole day in Kawara and I may even venture along to the beach because it's been a few weeks since I've been back and I haven't seen the beach once. I actually got to um, to catch the bus back to where I live because it was running seven minutes late so as soon as I saw it heading the opposite direction I thought oh this guy's been held up and he told me he just got snowed under with school kids and Trinity Beach and I said that's why I took the Palm Cove bus to avoid the Trinity Beach school run and he said there's also about eight tourists on the on the uh, bus as well so he felt sorry for them because they had no idea what was uh, going to befall them on that particular bus at that particular time of the day but uh, seeing I live in this area I know full well it's a bus to avoid so that was well planned. I, I'm glad I took the Palm Cove bus. A little bit of extra walking, but not too bad. Off to uh, the Quack in uh, Can Central, so I've got to go the, uh, the whole way down the bus route. It's looking a little threatening weather. I hope I've got my uh, umbrella. Yeah, I've got it with me. Just can feel it in the back of my pack. Yeah, so unfortunately, as soon as I walk out the door, it starts spitting rain. We had a bit of rain yesterday, actually, and uh, so I was hoping to hear from a guy that John, my neighbour, put me on. Who said he was a very good priced uh, builder who could do my kitchen, and I've emailed the guy, and I also um, texted him, and I've got no reply, and it's been uh, about four or five days now, nothing. So, uh, that's not a good sign. I might follow it up with John. Uh, I finally got my, uh, my microwave convection oven delivered yesterday. It, was, it turned up the previous day, but I was in just really bad luck. I was in the backyard 
weeding when the guy showed up and he said he yelled out and everything but of course I couldn't hear him from the rear and I didn't get a message from him saying he was going to be showing up that's why I didn't bother so uh, he said he'd call me but my mobile doesn't tend to ring every time someone contacts me it's better to send me a text uh, yesterday when he rang me that the, the the face of the, the the phone lit up but I didn't get the uh, the ringtone and this has happened a few times so it's really annoying so the most reliable way to contact me is either via email or uh, texting a message but anyway finally the, he came around uh, yesterday so it was only delayed by a day and I did get to check out the actual microwave itself and it does work and I've got all the items from Kmart, the blender, a uh, casserole dish and a drying rack so they all turned up so uh, that was good just got a really bad bout of hay fever today been sneezing my head off in the morning before this appointment the reason I'm walking all this way to get to the bus stop is because I want to get the 110 bus it gets into the uh, the hospital area of Cairns about a quarter of an hour earlier than the uh, the 111 bus and there's absolutely no guarantee if I get the 111 that the bus driver will even try to connect me to the other bus and secondly whether he'll be there in time to connect with the second bus because it all depends which when the buses actually come and go and they're not necessarily coordinated you see a lot of this around there's a lot of places on uh, on sale but the demand here is really high i keep checking it on realestate.com number of properties that people the people looking is about 20 20 times people looking to the properties on sale so that's the sort of ratio that's been it's been like that for some time and i don't think the prices are going to fall anytime soon while a ratio like that exists so in spite of those interest rate increases and i got i copped my second one i noticed that they've actually already adjusted mine up uh last week found that out yesterday uh in spite of interest rate increases so far the demand here is still very strong so we'll see how long that holds up uh, one of the real estate agents in the area put a youtube video up saying that um when similar things took place a couple of decades ago the uh, the prices in the big cities we did go down but they came they went up here we had a, a housing boom and it's it makes sense because people just can't afford to live in the big cities if you move here you, you've got buckley's chance of getting a rental so your only option really is to buy that's the other pressure so yes it's an interesting situation but uh i think it'll be a strong market here for some time so we'll see uh, see what the outcome is so that's my uh, take on it anyway strange old day sunshine and you've got the, you've got the threatening clouds on the other side there I could do with exercise though, I mean the funny thing is I'm not doing much exercise, just a bit of gardening but I'm not walking as much as I did at Parramatta Park which is sort of ironic considering I'm in a much more uh, walker friendly area here so anyway, we'll see how we go I've had two days off the grog too and uh, I might get myself a bottle of vino on the way back if I get the 110 so one good thing is I'll get on that, get back this direction uh, then the uh, the liquor lands on the way back home. Some mystery sold yesterday. Um, I needed to ring up the uh, courier because they uh, they sent the note. They left the note in my letterbox saying they'd actually been there yesterday on uh, Tuesday. On went Monday, sorry. Uh, so I need to contact them and tell them, look, I was home and they didn't uh, drop it off. Uh, every, I rang the number and of course it was engaged. Every local number I've called has been engaged. And I think it's pretty fishy. So then I actually said stuff this, I'm going to ring up TPG because I'd sent them a message, uh, an email message, hadn't got a reply. Uh, then I discovered it was a no reply email, so that's fair enough. 
but I, so I rang them. I got through in about less than five minutes. I don't think the guy had great product knowledge that I spoke to, and he might have been a Filipino going on the accent. But the uh, the one thing I did discover is I could I could find a way of actually adding credit to my my phone balance, and so I had a ten dollar credit to it. Uh, because it, it appears as if in as in the past if you your bank if your balance with your phone service reduced they would automatically top you up but that hasn't been happening so I had to do it manually so the guy was going to then transfer me to a section that was going to set it up automatically for me but he sent me through to the wrong area so I'd be buggered if I was going to get transferred again so I just hung up and then I rang back the courier and what do you know, I got through. So basically the money going into the account did actually unlock my uh, telephone. So, But there was no message, just a, an engaged signal. So as a consumer, I had no idea that I had a problem with the service. It just sounded like someone, that, that, that someone it was engaged, someone was on the phone. So it's a terrible system they've got that people, you know, can be without a phone and not realize why. I mean, they should be a, some sort of a message. They should have actually messaged me saying that, you know, they, they, they should have some way of tracking it, saying if people are trying to use that number, well, we better tell them that they haven't got any money in their account. Well, I didn't get any of that. So the communication's been terrible. So, uh, but the main thing is it's back up and running. And I put 10 bucks in, now look at the actual account balance, there's only like $8.40 something, so maybe I was overdrawn previously. But again, no one told me. Just unbelievable. So that's a, that's a thumbs down to TPG. Really stupid. I mean, people rely on their, their telecommunications and if you can't even give you basic information like that. I did actually contact their customer service, but the reply I got was less than, uh, in, eluding, oh gosh, less than illuminating. So uh, yeah, not good. But at least now my phone's working and I'll just have to monitor how much I've got in the account to make sure that it's working. Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you think there's anything there of, uh, of use to you or entertainment or whatever. And uh, either give, do that or give me a thumbs up or, or if you're feeling really energetic, do both. That'd be great.